Hey guys, Hop here. You're watching TFB TV. I am in Boonville, Missouri, the home of CMMG, to shoot the newest version of the Mark 47 and the newest version of the Descent. And that's not two different rifles, that's actually one rifle because the newest version of the Descent is the Mark 47 Descent. So that combines the Mark 47, formerly known as the Mutant, which is a beefed up 7.62x39 AR that takes AK mags, and the Descent, which is CMMG's compact action upper that allows for the use of folding stocks. The basics of the Mark 47 Descent are pretty obvious if you're already familiar with CMMG's Mark 47 Mutant and their Descent platform, but if you're not, I'm happy to pad the runtime of this video for a little history lesson. So pour yourself a cup of coffee, fortify it with your favorite spirit, and let's get into it. I've talked about the CMMG Descent a few times before on this channel. It is a compact action AR, meaning that the entire recoil system is contained in the upper receiver. In all other respects, it's very similar to the AR-15. It uses standard AR-15 lowers with a buffer tube delete that allows the attachment of 1913 braces and stocks. And despite using a modified action that uses two shortened recoil springs and a truncated bolt carrier group, it is still direct impingement just like a regular AR. The Descent was previously available in several calibers and configurations, including 9mm, 5.56, Drainer Blackout, and 5.7, some using a direct impingement gas-operated system, and some using CMMG's own radial-delayed blowback. On the other branch of the family tree, you've got the Mark 47. This was formerly known as the Mutant, and it was an attempt to address the problems typical to ARs chambered in 762 by 39 <laughs> First of all, the AR magazine doesn't like to feed 7.62x39. There are new production 7.62x39 AR magazines made by Duramag that mostly address this issue, but it's still asking quite a lot of the AR magazine pattern and magazine well to feed a cartridge with as much taper as the 7.62x39. The other problem inherent to chambering an AR in 7.62x39 was that it necessitates the removal of a lot of material out of the bolt head because you need to accommodate a much larger cartridge rim diameter than 5.56 or 300 blackout. So how did CMMG address these problems? They just skipped them entirely. The Mark 47 Mutant uses a beefed up upper receiver that's more on the scale of an AR-10 upper than an AR-15 upper. That means instead of using an underbuilt 5.56 bolt with material removed, they're using an overbuilt 308 bolt. The Mark 47 lower is also designed to use Rock and Lock AK magazines, thus solving the feed geometry problem of 7.62x39 ARs. So, put two and two together, and you get 47, apparently. The new Mark 47 version of the Descent is very similar to other versions of the Descent. It still uses a standard lower, in this case the Mark 47 lower, rather than an AR-15 lower or one of CMMG's pistol caliber lowers. Most of the redesign is in the upper. The Mark 47 Descent upper is just a compact action version of the existing Mark 47 Mutant. So it's got the truncated bolt and dual shortened recoil springs of the Descent Compact Action married to the overbuilt bolt carrier group and bolt from the Mark 47 Mutant. There are a few more changes to the Mark 47 Descent that are actually being implemented to the entire Descent lineup. First of all is the new trigger. The original trigger on the Descent series was by TriggerTech. It's a drop-in cassette trigger with an extremely light pull. My understanding is that CMMG used this drop-in cassette style trigger because the high bolt velocity of the compact action causes really bad trigger slap if you use a standard GI AR trigger. I found the original TriggerTech trigger on the Descent to be too light and not distinct enough either in the pull or in the reset. It was also a little too easy to outrun the trigger if you were using their pistol caliber carbine uppers. The new drop-in trigger is made by Rise Armament instead of TriggerTech, and it is a little bit heavier, but it's also way crisper, has a much more positive pull and reset, and I think it's a huge upgrade. I actually swapped out the Trigger Tech trigger on my descent for a regular GI trigger, which, yes, does have some trigger slap, but I'd rather have the trigger slap than that weird, indistinct, and not very positive pull on the original. I would definitely not feel the need to replace the new Rise trigger. The other big change to the Descent lineup is the new stock. These are folding stocks made by B&T, actually, but they use a custom-made adapter by CMMG to marry to the lower receivers of the Descents. 
They're definitely a little more comfortable and substantial than the skeleton style folding stocks they were using on the rifle length descents before, and I think a lot of people will definitely prefer these, but if you still want to get the old school skeleton stock or just a stock of your choice, you still have the option of getting the Picatinny rail rear section from CMMG directly. So I guess the big question is if you're shooting a cartridge designed for the AK platform and you're using AK magazines, why not just shoot an AK? I think it comes down to shootability, modularity, and suppression. The CMMG Mark 47 Descent just shoots way better than an AK. It also has an adjustable gas block and is threaded 5 8 by 24, so you can actually quite easily throw a suppressor on there and tune it. Suppressing the AK platform tends to be pretty torturous because of concentricity issues with the barrel threading, the fact that there's no adjustable gas system and most AKs are incredibly overgassed, not to mention weird European thread pitches. The Mark 47 Descent is available at launch with a 16-inch barrel as well as a pin and weld version, both using the same muzzle brake. CMMG says that there is a suppressor mount pin and weld option in the works coming soon. The muzzle brake CMMG is using on these rifles is one of their own designs and it is extremely effective, but it's also incredibly obnoxious. So much wind was coming out the sides of the brake that shooting it was pushing my contact lenses around on my eyeballs. I'm not fucking kidding. The muzzle brake is knocking the camera out of alignment. Anyway, with the addition of the Mark 47 to the Descent lineup, CMMG is turning the Descent into a pretty full-fledged platform. At this point, the only thing missing from the Descent lineup is the larger calibers, and since CMMG does make rifles in 308 and 65 Creed, it seems like a possibility. I guess we'll wait and see what the future holds. That's the show, guys. Thank you for watching. TFB TV is supported by our sponsors, Ventura Munitions and Top Gun Supply. We're also supported directly by our viewers via Subscribestar and Utreon. Look us up on both of those platforms. If you join up, you get to watch some bonus behind-the-scenes videos like Q&A between James and I and other members of the TFB crew. And you also get entered for a bunch of giveaways that James organizes and puts together. So check us out. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.